Hi, I'm Kevin from DTools, and in this video, I'll provide an introduction to Vendor Partners. Vendor Partners provide pricing, specifically unit cost, for their products. And there are hundreds of partners that exist, and the network is growing. Uh, most partners only provide pricing for US-based accounts in US dollars. However, we are expanding the Vendor Partner Network to Canada and other regions, so be on the lookout for future updates. In this introduction, I'd like to review a few things. First, let's take a look at where vendor partners are connected. So I'm here in the Product Explorer. I've clicked on the Vendor Partners button here, and I'm going to click this, the Connect option. And this will open up uh, the list of vendor partners you can connect to. Currently, uh, there are 191 partners. Notice that some, for instance, Access Networks has multiple brands. Um, ADI, which is a distribution partner that actually provides real-time pricing uh, through an API, uh, has pricing for hundreds of brands that they sell. And others such as Control4 also have multiple brands. So there are many, many vendors and brands to choose from. Um, for each one that you would like to make a connection to, you're going to select them in the list, click Connect, and in some cases, uh, they will, the requirement is an account number and a billing zip code. In other cases, it's just the account number. You're going to go ahead and enter that information, and when you do, um, you'll see a status uh, next to that vendor, generally as pending. It will show the account number you entered um, while you wait. The system automatically sends a message to that vendor where they can validate your information and approve your account. Once that's done, the status will update to approved. In some cases, vendors provide specific pricing tiers based on your account information. And then we assign those vendor partners to specific um, vendors that are set up in SI, and that is how we cross-reference items in your catalog to that vendor to go ahead and pull the pricing in. Okay, so we'll exit out of the Vendor Partners section. I want to point out the Schedule Price Updates option. So if you're familiar with price types in SI, there are up to 50 price types that can be activated. And you can choose that when you're updating your pricing from your Vendor Partners, which price type should get updated. It can be one price type, multiple price types, or all price types. Your choices are for the automatic pricing updates to happen never, meaning you have to manually update the prices. Uh, it can be done daily, weekly, or monthly. And so those are some options to consider there as you set up your vendors. A couple of quick notes. Notice here I am on the pricing layouts. If I look at layouts and under layouts, I'm on the price layout. Now that shows me information you can see here primarily related to product pricing. And I want you to note next to the unit cost column, there is a column labeled partner set cost. And once your vendors are connected and approved, any product pricing that you are receiving automatically th through the system, those items will have a check mark in the partner set cost field. Also, if I open up an item, you'll also notice that under the price section of an item, there's also a partner set cost column, which will reflect any pricing that has been uh, linked up from a connected vendor. Also, at any point, you can select a product and a price type here, and you can click the Check Partner Price option. Now that's going to give me an error because I don't have a connected vendor. I also want to note that in the Order section, products can actually be assigned to more than one vendor. And you can see I have ADI Global as a vendor. It is the preferred vendor of this product. It could also have a partner set cost if it was a connected vendor. Um, but, but secondarily, I can have an additional vendor, right? Maybe I get these from ABC suppliers as well. And it could also be partner set. So not only can I assign multiple vendors, but each of those vendors could theoretically be a connected vendor where I'm getting my pricing automatically. 
Now that you've gotten familiar with vendor partners, to learn more, visit the System Integrator Help Center. You can find it at docs.dtools.com and search for vendor partners.